Hi guys, today we are going to be looking at the Super Heavy. Um, Super Heavy did get buffed uh, on this patch, however, uh, did it do much? No. A um, few reasons why. Uh, I did test this out, so I've got it in my battle reports, not this one. Oh, oh dear. Let's, oh, sorry, I'll get them up. I thought I had them in my reports, and I was like, okay, this was before. Okay, so I attacked his base with my Super Heavy. As you can see, um, does it say total? No, but the main unit here, so 68.9 um, million officer damage. So what they buffed the Super Heavy was arm. I think it was um, reduced officer damage taken. Okay, so 68.9 um, million firepower. Officer damage, sorry, and then... Um, the unit damage 46.3 million and as you can see the base here did uh, 28k a couple you know bits and bobs from other units and then straight after the patch we can look at the same base so nothing changed no upgrades no nothing we can click on it the base damage went up by uh, basically 1.6 million base does a lot more because these for the fortified wall update the base is going to you know, actually do something now. Uh, helicopter. All right, so the unit itself did double the damage. However, you see the officer damage go down by what twenty million ish, you know, just just over twenty million officer damage. Now, I mean that does work. However, as you can see by this unit damage dealt, um, the anti tank gun is doing exactly what it needs to do. And is kill tanks right so the reason why it probably did double damage is because it would crit I would assume so so it did die faster however you know in the grand scheme of things like I still die to the unit not the officers just because that's how that's the nature of the thing like possibly I could have lived maybe one or two seconds more if it didn't crit but then crit is part of the game and you know a lot of people do run that on the anti-tank gun um why is it still bad it's because that anti-tank gun is meta right you see loads of them i'm you know a lot of people have them it's rare to not see them so if the super heavy is used in the field it just gets obliterated by range People can run away from it, so it can't fight. Um, tanking bases, most of them have a anti-tank gun. At least in my gold battlefields, you know, it's a very, very, very popular unit that people use. So again, it dies really quickly. And even to how like maxed howitz and howitzers and that lot, they do die very quick. You know, maxed helicopters, for example, if he swapped around, you know, maxing that anti-tank gun to the helicopter, you know, it'll probably still die really fast because the unit does the damage compared to the officers. Whereas howitzers, for example, they do more officer damage because they got high firepower. So possibly a buff versus howitzers. However, you know, due to the sheer numbers of anti-tank guns like they still die really quickly in most bases in that regard like because the anti-tank gun is meta the super heavy is like way way down way down you know if it was just howitzers possibly you know possibly but then again two max howitzers will kill it fast Ex exclusive lounge officers will kill it fast you know it's still just not a, it's just not durable compared to infantry infantry they go into bunker mode they get all these different you know damage resist bonuses and that like super heavy doesn't have that it's just got its stats and that's that infantry get buff stats with you know it's bunker mode and i was thinking you know what, how do i how do we make the super heavy like um you know viable how can we make this super heavy viable and i had two ideas um Firstly, if we go into the manual, uh, where the unit page, uh, we can see the sloped armor. Okay, so it's got th 600 millimeters of sloped armor. However, this doesn't really mean anything, right? Armor, it just, you know, does the unit pen to do more damage or does it, you know, not pen do less damage? You know, that's the only real factor that sloped armor has. It, you know, if it pens, it does 150% damage, I think. So it's like a crit if it pens. You know, if it doesn't pen, I think it does 
percent damage. I can't remember what it says. I think that's what it is. Don't so if anyone can tell me, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And then sloped armor. S sloped is the key word in this um, in this statement. Sloped armor. Normally with tanks, you know, sloped armor gives additional like depth because you know going on a flat surface is like shorter than if you like tilt it slightly you know you've got more like area to cover like inside to pen but then again you have the angles right sloped means it has angles you know it can bounce it can bounce shells you know how about you know if it doesn't pen it it bounces the rounds you know then you know light tanks just bounce off the side of it because it can't you know it can't penetrate it doesn't really do any damage you know maybe if it doesn't pen because of this sloped armor the damage goes way down it might work you know against howitzers for example because they don't pen anything i don't think they have a pen depth uh, they just have like um the area damage maybe it gets reduced you know, damage taken because it's got this sheer amount of armor that no one can get through. And then what you have is the suit. You need that anti-tank gun to kill the super heavies, even though it's a really popular unit. At least then, bases without you know anti-tank guns, you can use this to tank. If a base has a max anti-tank gun, then you use the infantry. You have like the option to use either or in the right scenario, and I think that would help a lot. Just you know, using the sloped armor mechanic to actually bounce rounds, like, you know, it can happen. A ping right off, you know, the shells can just ping right off. Sloped armor, and the key word is the sloped there, the angled armor. I mean, you could even change it to have, you know, super heavy having angled armor. You can even apply this to the main battle tank, where it counters the light tanks, because it has, you know, that angled armor that the light tanks can't go through takes less damage and then can output it you know the light tanks can run away but in that case you know like in a pure you know if you do get to bash heads then you will win because you know the added mechanic to make both of these better units the other um suggestion i i have with the super heavy is you know a, a dug-in mode you know the infantry have bunkers how about the super heavy can dig in? For example, you know, what about if it has a scoop on the front? For, just for example, to dig up the landscape and kind of fortify it and like entrench it in a position where in that mode it will take reduced damage. For example, you know, people might not be able to pen it as easy, you know, it might give. Um, quotations more armor because it's got like earth in front of it you know just a buff you know a damage resist buff because it's entrenched that would work because you can go up to a base and say it has a cast time maybe you have to take four or five seconds to actually dig in that way it's kind of balanced because you can't just run up to a base put it in that mode you know attack the base straight away nothing they can do about it at least if it has this you know um channeling period where it's digging in people can counter you know sat outside their base you know it's kind of like a you know it's not unstoppable because you have that period you can go out and kill it while it's setting up that works um however when it's set up then it can't move it can't move can't do anything you know it just sits there it can target the base you know it can shoot things in range and that's it with this damage resist buff because it's entrenched i think that might be a solid idea because then you can run out with the super heavy, you know, with your howitzer army group maybe. Dig in in front of the base, attack the base, you know, unit could possibly die still. You move on to the next base, stand in front of it, dig in, you know, just repeat until the super heavy dies. Like you would do with the infantry, have the infantry just stop bunkering, you know, take basically no damage at the moment. So if the super heavy can do that, I think, you know, bon appetit. Um unit is at least useful then in the tanking regard like it is you know meant to be it can't fight anything everything runs away you know it's killed very easily by anti-tank guns right now so it just needs that method of being survivable and being actually used to 
its purpose tank bases you know tank units because it's entrenched you can even put a line up entrenched and put houses that's behind you know create a wall and then people have to improvise you know fly around the back with their helicopters sloop all the way around with the light tanks it, it, it just adds more tactics into the game by you know allowing the super heavy to be used as a meat shield because at the moment you know it's a meat shield that doesn't shield it's just it's just meat you know free kills take them so those are my two ideas on you know how to make the super heavy at least useful i i personally think they're good ideas otherwise i wouldn't mention them um let me know your thoughts on the super heavy how it can you know maybe be updated to be useful and let me know your thoughts on my ideas so at the end of the day discussion is always good you know and trying to balance this game and make more tactics you know it's brilliant so yep yeah. thank you very much for watching let me know your thoughts and goodbye